Hi, I'm Matt here in Michigan. And I'm Randall here in Texas. Today, Matt and I are taking a flashback to 1987. We're going to be reviewing The Princess Bride. The Princess Bride stars Carrie Ewells, Robin Wright, Mandy Patinkin, Andre the Giant, and K Chris Sarandon, along with a long list of other castmates that we don't have time for here. But before we go any further, if you like this sort of thing, make sure to give this video a like and make sure to subscribe to always see more and ring that bell icon so you're always notified of our videos being posted. It is directed by Rob Reiner, who you've probably heard some of his films. This is Spinal Tap, Stand By Me, Misery, When Harry Met Sally, and A Few Good Men. This movie screenplay is written by the same person who actually wrote the book that it is based on, William Goldman. His novel came out in 1973, and they were trying to make a movie about this for a long time. Now in The Princess Bride, a grandfather reads to his sick grandson a book that contains pirates, a giant, sword fights, a plot to start a war, miracles, and true love. Doesn't sound too bad. I'll try and stay awake. This movie had a $16 million budget and earned nearly double that. And when adjusted for inflation, it's a budget of about $36 million and $70 million in earnings. It is generally loved by both critics and audiences. This movie is number 88 on the American Film Institute's Greatest Love Stories and is included in the Library of Congress's National Film Registry. All right, Randall, what do you think about this movie and why is it that we're doing this review now? Oh, why are we doing this review now? Because it's going to be Valentine's Day. And this is absolutely one of my go-to feel-good films. And all in all, this is a fairy tale love story. All about true love, in fact, Matt. True love. That's the, gr the greatest thing ever. True love. You heard him? You could not ask for a more noble cause than that. Yeah, Sammy. True love is the greatest thing in the world. Honestly, there is so much to love in this film. It is constantly seen in gifts still, and it's memed, and it's brought up all the time. I say to my, like even coworkers right now that I that I've said, you know, you have to watch this, or else you won't understand, you know, half of the things that I randomly say because it'll just be some random quote from The Princess Bride. In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess, to the death, I accept. Yes, I love this movie. And like you said, that's one of the big things that makes it so enduring is how quotable this movie is. That's why we see, like you said, all these gifts and stuff like that for it. I, you have to admit, I didn't actually see this movie until I was a bit older, to like middle school, high school. Um, so I didn't really like grow up with this as, you know, like a young kid, even though this movie came out when I was one year old. Um, but yes, love this movie still. Uh, it's it's a blast to watch. See, you know, the thing is, like, I remember seeing it on, like, TV a lot. It was kind of always there, almost like the Never Ending Story was kind of just was on a lot of the times on, like, Saturday or Sunday afternoons on, on some channel. And I distinctly remember, you know, the rodents of unusual size. Like, that's the thing that always pops into my mind. That's my most vivid childhood memory. But yeah, it's not until you get into like middle school, high school, where you really kind of start appreciating just how fun this film is. Yeah, that was one of the things I wrote in my notes where it's basically like this movie that is, you know, you kind of for the whole family. I, and there's some parts I wouldn't say is for the whole family. There's a shortage of perfect breasts in this world. It would be a pity to damage yours. But I think... Definitely the people that enjoy this movie the most is probably like teenagers and adults. I think that's like the perfect audience for this, even though it's, it's, you know, it's a fairy tale. It's supposed to be for like kids and stuff, but it's fairy tales for like adults and stuff to enjoy. Aww. Kissing. <laughs> Grandpa. Is this a kissing book? <laughs> <laughs> Keep your shirt on. Let me read. An interesting thing, because the way that this is filmed, like you had said when you did the plot, you know, you couldn't just make this movie as The Princess Bride. The fact that it's a grandfather reading a book, which is a fairy tale, to his grandson when he's sick, 
is what makes it work. Because if you just came out and said, oh, we're just going to make the Princess Bride and just tell the story, it, it would be too goofy. It would be too much over the top. But because it's wrapped up inside of this lovely little story, that's what makes it work as a movie. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, that was one of my big points, too, that I put on. A lot of these things that might not work in like a movie today, even uh, we love practical effects, but sometimes they do show a little bit their age, like the costumes and stuff to show its age a little bit. But the fact that it's a story, it's all a story, you know, from a storybook about a fairy tale kind of thing that makes it all work. Everything that you would basically like, oh, you can't make a straight up serious movie about that because it's a fairy tale. All this stuff works. And, I think that's kind of what makes this like a timeless piece. I don't know that you'd want to remake this movie. Apparently someone does. <laughs> nope. They, nope. They, please don't. But <laughs> the other thing, though, that's interesting about this film and why I think it stands the test of time is that it is such a lovely film to watch. It's easy to watch. You could just sit down and, you know, hour and a half just breezes by. Uh, it's it's very funny. It's, again, extremely memorable. And there's all only maybe one entire serious plot line in the entire story and that's our good old spaniard going after his his revenge uh, amigo montoya my name is Diego montoya you kill my father prepare to die that's it everything else is played for laughs everything else is goofy even when wesley gets near dead he's only mostly dead it's still played for laughs with <laughs> the you know miracle maker and and bringing him back to life it is literally just a fun easy to watch film i do like the character portrayals in this movie too no one i don't think is too over the top they everyone just makes sense for like the character and stuff in this movie like the actors don't try to do too much everyone kind of gets their little time to shine and stuff in this movie as well too so me i think that like plays perfectly for this film and like i said i don't know that there's anything that i would really change in this film no especially grand naked zek <laughs> <laughs> obviously i mean well with sean um his little plot basically to kidnap princess buttercup which is robin wright's character and blame it on you know another nation so that way we can go to war with that nation when everyone's blaming them for her death it, it's ridiculous and it's you know inconceivable is what it is i don't think that word means what you think it means <laughs> <laughs> everything and all the characters are are just right they all get like you said they all get their little moment to do their thing and and it works out really well i i think that nowadays movies aren't always quite as well balanced and you see it, especially on, on bigger blockbusters. It, it's amazing how well something like Avengers Infinity War and Endgame comes out by actually giving the crazy casts like everyone has something to do. Well, a lot of movies miss that mark, but The Princess Bride is not one of them. One thing that some things like older audiences, I think now will enjoy a little bit about this movie that younger audiences, I don't think will, is the fact that a lot of us, we know some of these actors and stuff playing these characters, you know, like, Billy Crystal and, you know, Andre the Giant stuff. I don't know that some of the younger audiences may be getting introduced to this movie for the first time. It's going to really pick those people out. But I think they'll still enjoy what they do in this story and not necessarily get, like, the little chuckle that we get. Like, oh, I know who this person is. They won't laugh because it's a Billy Crystal cameo. You know, they'll just laugh because he's playing a funny role. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> so. The Miracle Worker Max. <laughs> yeah it's 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 just so enjoyable and such a, a thing and i'm i'm happy that they went the route they did telling it as a fairy tale because if they hadn't everything would have been ruined it, it, it wouldn't be as as such a hit and a cult phenom as it as it is right on that i want to know what you guys think about the princess bride let us know in the comments below we got plenty of other flashback reviews, so be sure to check that out on our website. We release new videos every Monday and Thursday. We also have a Facebook page, so you can connect with us there. We will always post the day before our new videos come out to let you know what the next topic is going to be. For now, I'm Matt here in Michigan. Have a good day.
And I'm Randall here in Texas. I'll see everyone next time. Next time on No Market Media. Please consider checking out some of our other videos.